Another year, another poor financial result. Where is this all going for Exhaler Technologies? Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. So, Exceller Technologies, ticker symbol XELA, a global provider of information management solutions, has been going through a tumultuous period recently, to say the least. And their latest fourth quarter earnings, while having some highlights, still reflect a large company that is slowly suffering. Looking at the earnings for Exceller Technologies, reported revenue for 2022 of $1.077 billion was down 7.7% from $1.166 billion in 2021. The information and transactions processing solutions segment revenue was a low point, pulling in $765.1 million, which was a decline of 12.5% year over year, while healthcare solutions revenue was $239.3 million, an increase of 9.9% year over year, representing one of the positives for the company from last year. The company's net loss for 2022 was $415.6 million, compared to a net loss of $142.4 million in 2021, but this was due to gross profit decline of $77.8 million and a goodwill impairment charge of $171.2 million. The non-cash goodwill impairment does make the loss seem far worse than it was. Nonetheless, the declining gross profit is also a huge cause for concern. Um, however, Excel Technologies has implemented actions that are expected to achieve savings in the range of $65 to $75 million beginning in Q4 of 2022 and into 2023. Um, and they did report a reduction in overall debt of about $12 million, which was a positive considering how major of a problem this has been for the business over the years. Beyond the earnings results, there is still the story of the potential delisting of the company. This is a significant concern for both the company and its shareholders, as being delisted would mean that Excel shares would no longer be traded on the NASDAQ, making them much harder to sell and likely leading to a sharp drop in their value when they start trading over the counter or OTC. The reason for the potential delisting is due to Excel's failure to comply with certain listing requirements. Specifically, the company has failed to maintain a minimum bid price above $1 per share for an extended period of time before an automated delisting process was initiated over this year um, when the stock fell below $0.10 cents per share for an extended period of time. Excel was given a deadline on the 7th of March 2023 to regain compliance with this requirement, which they have obviously failed to do so and continue to do so with the stock trading around the three cent mark. Um, in addition to the potential delisting, Excel has also recently announced that it will be holding a special meeting of shareholders on May the 4th. The purpose of this meeting is to vote on two proposals. Uh, firstly, the adoption of an amendment of Excel's certificate of incorporation to effect a reverse stock split and the approval of one or more adjournments of the special meeting if necessary. Basically, this is if they can't get enough shareholders represented to vote on the matters. Uh, the reverse stock split is a controversial move that would see the number of Excellers outstanding shares heavily reduced, with each share being worth more as a result. Uh, the purpose of this move is to boost the company's stock price and make it more attractive to investors and get it back within that level of legal compliance. Um, however, it is also seen as a significant sign of weakness from the company um, and could see further shareholder value erosion like what has happened since their last reverse stock split vote. Ultimately, it will be up to individual investors to weigh the potential benefits and drawbacks of the reverse stock split proposal and decide how to vote accordingly at the upcoming special meeting. However, given the company's recent struggles and the potential impact of the reverse stock split on shareholder value, it's understandable that some investors may be hesitant to actually support the proposal, even though it might be important for the company's continued listing. So in conclusion, Excel Technologies is facing significant challenges, including the possibility of being delisted from the NASDAQ stock exchange and the controversial proposal for a reverse stock split. When you factor in another year of unimpressive financial results, it does not make for a good narrative for the company. Uh, the upcoming special uh, meeting of stockholders on the 4th May will provide some insight into the company's future direction. However, it's important for investors to carefully evaluate the risks and potential benefits before making any such decisions on how they will vote. Uh, anyway, my Hail Mary play in the company is now down by about 50%, but I'm holding strong. Uh, while the earnings were mixed, I think the debt reduction plus the planned savings are going to really help. Um, what is going to be key for the company operationally is being able to recapture some of the lost revenue they have experienced lately. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts on Excel at the moment. Do you think the earnings are, were better than expected or is it another forgettable sign from this languishing company? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, everyone. May the markets trade in your favor. Cheers.